Hello everyone, this is Naza Zareen from IV Pro School. In this series, we will get started with SQL. So for writing our SQL commands, we need to know very basic or elementary operations. So here we see the crude operations. So the crude refers to four basic operations in SQL and it stands for C as in create, R as in read, U as in update and D as in delete. So with the help of these four operations, we can interact with our database. Create. With the help of the create statement, we can create new database, tables and tables in the server. And we can also insert new records into the tables. We will now go to the MySQL workbench to create our database and tables. This is a MySQL workbench and this is the area where we are supposed to write in the commands. So first we will create our database. So we will type in create database. Let's name it as school. And then control shift enter. So here we can see in the actions that a, a database of school has been created. And we can also select this refresh button. Yes, here we can see the database. Next, what we'll do, we will use this database. So every command which we type in now onwards will all, all the actions will take place in the school database. So we will type in use school. And do you see that it's, it's uh, in bold now? That means we are using the school database. Next, we will create the table. So create. Let's name it as student. And then we need to mention what columns and what would be the data type of each column. So let us first give ID and the data type should be integer. The second should, column should be first name. And we will give it characters. And we don't know uh, how many characters will be there, so we will just give an upper limit. So let's give it as 50. Then the last name, this will also be care. And then we will give class. This would also be a care. This shouldn't be big enough, so 10 would be fine. And then we will give the average score. This would be an integer. Yes, so the table student has been created. We can check that from here also. We will refresh it once again and Yes, do you see that? And when we will click here, we will be able to see the structure of our table, the column name and the data types. Now the next step that we're going to do is that we have created the, the database, the table, and now we are going to insert the rows inside the table. So to do that, we will have to use the insert command. So insert into the table name that is student and we have to give the ID then the first name the last name the class and the average score then values and now we will write the values that we need to put in. So let's give the ID 101. Since it is an integer, so we will write it directly. But for the names, that is the first name, the last name, which is of the character type. So for this, we will have to give our inputs in double quotes. Let's say it's Deepak. And the last name is 
ray and the class is class 1a and the average score would be 72 comma second one the id the first name Rita Paul Class 2B And in this way you can give as many inputs as you want I think that should be fine. Let us run the statement. Yes, so it has got updated. Once we have created our tables and inserted the records, we would now want to read the data or we can also say like extract or fetch the data from the tables. For this, we need the select statement. This is a statement which we use very often and we also call this querying. So a query is basically a request of retrieval of data from the database. Let us now try to read the records which we have just now entered. So we will type in the query. It should start with the select. Select start star from student. Here we go. We get all the we get all the rows and all the columns of the student table. That is the function of this star. Star means it will return the whole table. But that is not the scenario of all the time. Many times we need to we need to fetch in only a few set of data for which we will have to give a condition. And because and to do that we need the we need the where clause. So let us say we want to fetch only those data where the score is 85 so we will write select star from student where the average score is equal to 85 so ideally this is the row which we should get as a as a as a return here we go It might happen that sometime we have entered the incorrect data or the data has got changed. Then what should we do? Here the update statement comes into play. It helps us to modify the existing records in the table. But there is one thing that should be noted that before making any update or before deleting anything, we need to set the SQL safe update false. That is we will set it zero. Let us check it right now. In order to update, we will first have to set SQL save updates is equal to zero. Yes, and now we are good to update. So we will update the class of the student whose ID is 103. So our statement would be update the table name that is student set class is equal to 2a where the id is equal to 103 So now we will check our results. Yes. So here we see that 
where the ID was 103, the class has changed to 2A. Next is the delete statement. So it is used to delete the existing records from the table. That is, it will delete the row from the table. In order to delete the records, you need to you need the where clause and you need to specify as to which row you want to delete. Let us check that. Let us say we want to delete the record of the student whose first name is Deepak. So our statement would be delete from student where first name is equal to Deepak. So ideally this row should get deleted. So it says, let us check. Yes, so here we can see that, that that record where the first name was Deepak has been deleted. This was all about the crew statement. I hope you liked it and we will take up the further topics in the next sessions. Thank you for watching. Bye.